So as you guys know in our previous videos we learned how to install WP Travel and also a free version of it. In this one we are going to learn how to add a new trip after you are done with installation. Before starting let me tell you that for this example and trip page building process we have used this travel log theme. In case you want to get it too the link will be in the description so you can download it easily. When you go to the link you see this blue download button from here you can easily get this theme. After activation of the plugin you will get the menu trips in the admin panel. Under the trips menu you will find the option new trip. Simply click on new trip option which will open up a section where it will be asking about multiple type of information. Now there are fields where you need to add details of trip and after that it will display in the single trip page of the website. You might be feeling overwhelmed by looking at all of these options but don't worry I'll be discussing everything you need to know about all of this interface. So here are currently three major fields present in front of you. On the top is the title, in the middle you can see the description and at the bottom most is residing the excerpt field. So what do they basically do you might ask. The title itself as the name depicts allows you to add the title of the trip. Like so if I choose title my trip for example trip to Thailand it's going to look something like this in the user front page. You can see on the top our title is present. Pretty cool huh? In the center most comes the description field. You can add a detailed description of whatsoever you are offering to your potential customers. You can inform them deeply using this field which could be quite informative for the people who are really interested. After that you have added a decent amount of description. Save it and you can see in our front page the description is going to look something like this. The description is kept away from the title to give it a cleaner look. Now on the bottom comes the excerpt field that pretty much allows you to add a concise and easy to digest type of description. Like for example if someone is not interested to read the long passages which could be time consuming and simply want to get an idea of what the trip is basically about they can get it from the excerpt field. So you can just add up a short and a concise description which if you go to the preview page you can see that it is going to be located right beneath the title. So the people People could get a direct idea of what they are basically getting. Okay guys let's dive a little bit more into it and if you scroll down you will see trip options. Here you need to add trip details that can be displayed in the trip page of the website. This is where you can actually start to fully customize your website. So firstly comes itineraries. Under this sections you can find various sections like trip code, trip outline and itinerary itself which you have to add and will be displayed in the single trip page as shown in here. The trip code options allows you to change the trip code. Now please keep in mind that custom trip code is only available after activating WP Travel Pro plugin. The trip outline will help you to add a description for your trip as in here you can see under the book now button the trip code which was made possible using the trip code option and this entire itineraries section is also created using the itinerary field. Now second comes the prices and date section which allows you to add prices and dates for your trip respectively. Under the prices tab you will find add price option which could be useful to add price for the trip. You can see various options in here. You have an option to either choose multiple pricing or a custom booking option. As you can see I have created a high price package simply by adjusting these options. I name the pricing high price. You can do whatsoever you want. The minimum packs indicates the minimum number of person required to go on the trip and the max shows the maximum number of the people. You can also see group discount button in here so that could be really useful for the people who like to provide some offers to their customers. Below here you can see category of the people that are eligible to travel and also price per individual. You can also select price per group. And again you have some options to put sales and also group price. And last but not least in the pricing tab you see trip extras. Now these are some joyful goodies that you want to 
provide to your customers. For example, I have just added the juice in my case. So once you're adjusted with price, you need to adjust the dates. You have two options in here, either to enable fixed departure or simply put number of days. Using this, our users can go on the trip for the number of days mentioned in here. No restriction for the date in this case. But if you enable fixed departure option, you can see some great options to fix your departures. You can add a cutoff time, label your date, which I've labeled as 4 days trip, you can select pricing options from what you've created earlier and named it high price label your date which I've labeled as four days trip you can select pricing option from what you've created earlier um, like we've named it high price and finally add the date which is going to be for the trip also you have some more options in here if you really want to be more specific about the departure okay once you're done with adjusting the pricing and dates let's head over to the preview page and see how it is looking you can now see how your actual trip page is going to look like after that you have added some price and date options simply click on booking tab and you can see the high price option also you can see the fixed departure date that we've added if you check on this box next to the high price you can add the number of people which we've adjusted ranging from 1 to 10 using the minimum and max packs option once you've reached the maximum number of people that could possibly travel it will show you the max packs error message you can also see the price increasing as we increase the number of people so that was pretty much it for the price and date option you can discover more exciting features by upgrading to wp travel pro plugin so next comes the trip include and excludes tab it will allow you to add qualities and service that you can provide whatsoever the trip is going to include and exclude goes the opposite you can see that i've added some points for example after saving you can see it's going to look something like this under the trip includes option and also trip excludes option next comes the fact tab. you can add some effective facts using this option when you go to your preview page it's going to look something like this so this could be quite helpful next comes the gallery you can add amazing looking visuals in here using this add media option also you have an option to insert a link which users can surf to get an ID additional information about your trip and some visuals too so in your front page you can see your added stuff under the gallery option click it and you see some info also which you can add using this title and caption option you can see a little star symbol here which shows that this is currently your main picture if for example you want to add a new one you can simply upload it and double click on it and it will change your main picture into whatsoever you want for example I just double clicked on this one and you can see it is already changed in our upfront page now next comes the option to add location you can simply type in whatever you want to highlight using google maps option and it will show up a map which will be really useful for your website and look really decent and professional this will give your website a really professional look and make your users even more specific about what exact place they are going to be going you can see in our front page our our entire added map being displayed beautiful so next in the list comes the checkout this feature will only be available after activating the WP travel pro plugin it allows you to add a checkout information or a message for your customers for example I've labeled the checkout information as your checkout and also added some description lines in it in the front page if you click on book now our added stuff will be displaying in here the next feature is also available in WP travel pro plugin which is inventory options simply enable it given your inventory size and after that particular number a message of sold out on your front page will be displayed so the next in the line is FAQ or frequently asked questions they are pretty simple to add you can enable global FAQs or just add your own one using this add FAQ option simply put in your question on the top box and answer in the one below and you are pretty much done in the front page you can see the FAQ tab 
in our added question. If you drop down using this little arrow, you will see the related answer. Moving to the next is the download feature. It's also a part of WP Travel Pro plugin. You can add a document PDF or whatsoever you would like to provide, access it using the download tab as you can see on your screen. And after that comes the tab section. This one is really exciting as you can fully customize the number of tabs you want to be displayed on your screen. You can even rearrange them and also completely disable them if you do not want a certain tab to be appearing on your web page to either give it a clean look or maintain tidiness. And finally is the miscellaneous option which will allow you to add trip inquiry option which is helpful for our users to connect with us and share their problems okay so those were all features from our tab section if we see on the top right corner you can see the taxonomy sections which allows you to add trip types destinations and keywords so these are basically to optimize your front page even more and level up your game in the trip types you can add the type of trips our users can select like for example i have added here friends or honeymoon or family for example our users can select that what type of trip they are looking forward to and after that you can see destinations which allows you to add destinations which are currently available and finally the keywords could be used to optimize our trips even more you can add few keywords and last but not least you're going to add the activity section which is going to enable you to add the type of activities that are going to be happening at the site so if you go to the front page and here you can see that all the data we added using the taxonomy sections is already being displayed you can see our trip type is already added and also the activities and below here you can see the keywords so yeah guys that was pretty much it and i hope you learned how to add a new trip it's basically really simple and user friendly hope you understood the process if you still have any question feel free to ask see you in the next one and until then peace